Hello, Vidyari. Yes, this is my Vidyari, a diary in video form. I talk a lot and I talk to myself. But there are some informations that you might need in this video, so skip the talking part and go straight ahead to the walkthrough part. And hello, Vidyari again. In most of my videos, I talk about the things I bought. And here it is. I bought two microphone foams for my headset because it didn't come with its own foam. So that's why I bought two. But anyway, today I'm not going to talk about the things I bought. I'm going to show the walkthrough how I applied for AUB Paymate. But this video is quite long. So I split it into two parts. So in this first part, I'm going to show the registration only. On the second part, I will show the email or the emails I received and everything I did. Alright, so here we go. Okay, so this is a pre-recorded walkthrough video. And I'm going to walk you through. Okay, so this is my home page. All you need to do is type the link. Alright, so here you can type aub.com.ph slash register slash freelance or you can also type aub.com.ph slash aub paymate. But this will redirect you to the home page where you need to click another tab there so that you can go to the registration window. But if you type this one aub.com.ph slash register slash freelance you will be redirected right away to the registration window. So I recommend using this one instead. I did. Okay, so this is the registration window. Right, okay, so QR, e wallet payment acceptance, both for foreign and local, card payment acceptance, Visa, MasterCard, and Union Pay, uh, bank payment acceptance, InstaPay, and payment body. All right, okay, so down here, um, you can write your type your last name okay and then first name suffix if you have any middle name all right and then your country of birth okay and then your birthday your civil status teen number sss or gsis number okay so personal monthly income um well just an estimation you don't really have to put the the very accurate information just an estimation as long as it's close to that okay and then for your select line of business, I put um, education services here. Education services, teachers, tutors. Alright, okay. And then start of business. Okay, I put mine, August 2022, because I'm just starting. And then for your website, if you have any, then you can put the website. If you don't have, then you don't have to. Okay, and then um, average sales per month. Okay, so I put 30,000. Okay, but of course, that's just my fake information. I'm just walking you through. Okay, and then average transaction count per month. I think for me, I will only have like four transactions every month. So I just put four. Okay, and down here, mobile number. Okay, and then your telephone number on the other side. If you have, if you don't have telephone number, then leave it. Okay, or if you have other mobile number, then you can put it there as well. So your email address, then you can put your email address. Make sure that you're using the existing or the working email address. That's very important. So number slash street, it has the asterisk there. So you cannot uh, put blank or you cannot leave it blank. So you have to put NA if you don't have. Okay, so I put NA. And then your province, city, barangay, village, the zip code will be auto-generated by the system itself after you write your barangay or village. All right, and then resident since, okay? So since when do you live in that place? All right, and then your ownership, okay, owned, mortgage, rented, company provided, or living with relatives. Then you click I'm not a robot, and then click submit, and that's it directed to this window after you submitted your registration without missing any important details but if you miss some important details you will receive or you will see uh, on the page you will see the 
incomplete prompt message all you need to do is check your registration form again and uh, look for those missed tabs remember that when you see asterisk they they need to be um, filled in so when when you did that after you did that you can just click the submit again and then when you see this window all you need to do is wait for your email it usually takes one to two days um, I waited for two days before I got an email and in my next video I will be showing what I did after I received the emails